Hi guys! Kamusta kayo? I hope you're all doing well and enjoying the first few weeks of 2023. Ako, okay naman so far. Tumaya ako ng loto pero hindi ako nanalo. Umabot ba naman ng 23 million dollars yung jackpot? However, last week, may nanalo. Isa lang. Congratulations kung sino man siya. Isa na siyang ganap na multi-millionaire. Anyhow, Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Chi Chi and I do share about our life experiences here in New Zealand with immigration news on the side. Disclaimer lang po, just a reminder to everyone as I would say, I am not an immigration advisor, lawyer, nor an agency that recruit people going here in New Zealand. Hindi po ako connected sa kahit anong organization that hires people from New Zealand or It gives advice to people when it comes to migrating here in New Zealand. By the way, for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. And if you haven't, andyan lang po yung subscribe button. Click nyo lang po yun and the notification bell na rin po. So you will be one of the first to know when I do have a new upload. Dahil nakapag-makeup tayo, I have decided to do a vlog which I think will be very helpful to those of you who got plans to come here to New Zealand. Especially kung meron kayong intention to work. I-share ko sa inyo my first ever job here in New Zealand. Nakita nyo yung vlog ko on how I've started here. Parang nabanggit ko yata doon, if I'm not mistaken, kung ano yung una kong job. And I was a caregiver. Mag-flashback tayo guys, mag-reminis tayo. Back in 2014, I have been directly hired. I have been given a job offer by a New Zealand employer. I was still in Brunei during that time. So, nag-work ako doon sa Brunei. And then, my sister, who used to work for this company, told me na meron opening. Sabi niya, sabit ka ng CV mo ate, ganyan, ganyan. She's my younger sister. And I did. Without thinking, kasi parang I wanted to try something else and I think New Zealand is such a good place to you know, build your family and to explore. Kasi ang dami kong narinig na magaganda. Lalo na nandito yung sister ko before I came. Thank goodness, nakuha naman ako sa job. So, caregiver ako nung lumipat ako dito sa New Zealand. During the first time, it felt pretty weird. Kasi hindi pa ako nakapag-work sa age care na setting. Yung mga rest home kung tawagin nila dito. Hindi pa ako na-expose sa ganoong environment. Another special thing was my exposure to dementia care. Sa Philippines, hindi common yung diagnosis na Alzheimer's disease or dementia or siguro, you know, it's present in the country but then it's not widely known para sa atin sa Philippines. So, dito, medyo common siya sa mga elderly. It's just exciting to learn something new. Before I go ahead sharing my experience as a caregiver here in New Zealand, I'll be sharing with you the common terminologies that we use in an aged care setting. Ayo po, if you are the employee, you are called as the caregiver, the healthcare assistant, or the carer. Kapag naman po yung mga taong nilulook after natin, ang tawag naman po namin sa kanila ay residents. If you do have plans of working as a caregiver here in New Zealand or is planning to, To give you an overview, an aged care facility would involve residents. It depends on how your facility is set up. May iba po na merong mga villas, merong apartments. Yung iba naman po, talagang mga rooms lang po, like para siyang dorm. If you will be asking me what are the responsibilities of a caregiver or healthcare assistant or a carer here in New Zealand, my answer would be is to provide assistance and support to the resident with activities of daily living. Pag sinabi ko pong activities of daily living, yung usual po natin ginagawa, like socializing, walking, eating, bathing, getting dressed, getting ready for the day. So, kung ano po yung mga dating kaya pa nilang gawin, but because of health or because of age, medyo limited na yung mga abilities ng ating mga residents. The scope of the job as a caregiver would depend on the job description provided by your employer. So, 
per company, iba-iba naman po yan. So, depende na lang po sa company ninyo kung ano yung scope ng trabaho ninyo. Sa ibang facility, they're just helping out with hygiene cares and feeding. Yung iba naman po, may mga extra work pa. So, check nyo na lang po yung job description ninyo bago ninyo pirmahan. And because the aged care facilities or rest homes are a 24-7 operating business, expect that you might work the morning shift, the afternoon shift, or the nocte shift. When you hear nocte, that means night shift. Kwento ko pala sa inyo guys, nung nagsistart ako as a carer, merong mga terminologies, may mga words na ginagamit yung mga residente na hindi ako familiar. Here are some of the words that will be helpful for you when it comes to communicating with your resident. Una yung word na knickers. Knickers. Pag narinig nyo yun, ibig sabihin, underwear or panty. The spaghetti strap that they normally wear underneath their top or their blouse, ang tawag doon ay singlet. Singlet. Naman sa pagkain, meron silang tinatawag na cordial. Cordial. They also use serviette. Serviette. Also use the term frock. Frock. Dress. Yun po yung ibig sabihin nun. Pag sinabihin kayo, oh, you've got a nice frock. Nice dress. Some of the elderly, some of the residents, they use a certain thing to help them pick up things. Ang tawag nila, graba. Graba. So, grabber. Yun yun. Makikita nyo yun sa mga ibang mga residents ninyo for sure. You might be curious and you might be wondering, is caregiving for everyone? Is it a job that anyone would apply for? Personally, my answer would be no. I think you need to have a special heart to be able to tolerate everything in caregiving for you to be able to survive each day. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of understanding, especially if you get exposed into a dementia unit because definitely there will be a tendency you might get sweared and if you're pretty much soft within you might get hurt straight away but then that's normal that's human nature that's fine but then for some people it's very offending sometimes people will just give up because they just couldn't take it and they just couldn't take seeing people in that type of situation now, yung iba din, they're pretty much uncomfortable when it comes to, you know, body fluids and fecal material. And you'll be exposed to a lot of this one every day. So, bago kayong mag-apply as a carer, you need to know yourself. It's not easy, I must say. It's not an easy job. And it can be physically, mentally, and emotionally challenging. So, after me sharing how it may be challenging... Is your salary worth it? Is it fair enough with everything that you're experiencing or all the challenges that you need to face every day? Is it worth it to be a carer? Well, you know, sometimes it's not just about the money, but I must say there has been a very big progress when it comes to the pay of caregivers here in New Zealand. Back in 2014, when I started, I was earning $15 per hour. $15 malaki laki na siya during the time compared to if you are working as a caregiver in the Philippines. Pretty much a good amount of money. And there's always available shifts that you can grab or you can cover. So, pwede rin yun na ways na, alam nyo yun, mag-work kayo na mag-work and then para tanaas din yung mauuwi ninyong salary. There is the Support Workers Pay Equity Settlements Amendment Act of 2022. So, ito will give you an overview on how much you may earn as a carer. Nasa sa inyo na yan, guys, if you think that the salary is good or worth it. As we all know, guys, there is a shortage of nurses and doctors around the world. Pero, guys, yung mga caregiver kulang din dito sa New Zealand. So, alam ko, madami nagtatanong sa inyo, paano kami makaka-apply papuntang New Zealand? And I have always suggested for you to check on seek.co.nz or trade me jobs para makapag-check ng mga vacancies. Make sure that you have your patience and your perseverance if you really want to come here. Hindi siya easy guys, lalo ilang thousands of people ba ang gustong makapunta ng New Zealand, ba? Kaya guys, tiyagain ninyo 
at magpasensya kayo, magtanong kayo sa mga kakilala ninyo na nandito na. Reminder lang guys ulit ha, hindi po ako recruiter. So, hindi ko po masasagot yung mga questions na matutulungan mo ba akong makapunta dyan, mga ganyan. Sorry guys. But definitely, if I do have any information, I will share it. Don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page, Chichi on Record, and also to subscribe in this channel. So if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to put a comment down below. Thank you very much, and I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Bye!